So, day two. Unfortunately, um, there were no winds of change, uh, so to speak. Uh, the wind just uh, kicked my ass. Um, my first mistake as well was um, I didn't sleep that great last night. Um, so I ended up kind of um, sleeping in a bit and only kind of got moving at about uh, half past eight. Um, and my second mistake was like getting chatty with these this couple who were caravanning next to me. Um, it makes a real like difference. Like if you've got a loaded bike full of stuff, people are very inclined to come over and say, "Oh, where are you going? Where have you been?" You know. Um, so yeah, so I chatted to them for a while, and and before I knew it, it was like half past nine, and I wasn't even on the road yet. Um, and still had, you know, a few miles to go to get to Bury St Edmunds. Um, so got on, the, got, on the, got on the bike, got going, uh, got through to Bury St Edmunds, and then um, began uh, taking the cycle routes to uh, Newmarket. And the wind was horrendous, absolutely horrendous. Um, it was going straight into it. Just killed me. Um, so took ages to get to Newmarket. Um, I wanted to stop somewhere to watch the football, watch the Liverpool uh, Man United game. Um, so I stopped in Newmarket to do that and it was one o'clock by then and I thought best case scenario is to uh, just get through to Cambridge tonight and find a place to stay. Uh, good football match today by the way. I watched it in a pub, um, an Irish pub in Newmarket and um, I thought like I was in the Lord of the Rings at one point because there were all of these like really short, slight men around and I realised they were jockeys, they were Irish jockeys. It was so, so weird. I, I look, they looked ridiculous next to me. I wanted to pick one up and pop it in my pocket. Um, uh, but, but, but I didn't. Um, yeah, so I watched the game, um, had a bite to eat, and then uh, got back on the bike and um, rode through to Cambridge. There was another 20 miles to Cambridge from there, and at that point it was half past three. So... Uh, but yeah, I had a real burst of burst of sort of strength and um, flow th flew through and got to Cambridge at about uh, quarter past half past five. Went to the Cherry Hinton Caravan Park. They don't take uh, campers. So uh, I got the bike, started to head into town and saw a bed and breakfast. Pulled in and had a room available. And the, la the lady here, she's a crazy Irish lady. Something that should have taken about 15 minutes, sitting down, taking my details and giving me my key, took an hour. But she was really, really friendly. But then she was telling me like how to unlock the door. It's a normal door, look. You have to turn it left, not right. Sometimes they're right. They're never right. Anyway, she's really nice. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've just had a bite to eat. Now I'm going to have a shower and hit the sack.